Ah, thank you. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just Exactly the way it's made, um, page 113. Whew. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's a lot of sweet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you know, I mean, it's going to be fabulous because. Well, it's, because it's it, called a tula. It's called a tula. It made it into the magazine. Right. So. And the creator was a woman named, whose blog is Pretty Pink Tulips. So. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, my suspicion is it's going to taste a little bit Manhattan. Right? It might, yeah. But fruitier. But fruit, yeah. I mean, I think there's going to be some sweet vermouth in it. Just a hint. A touch. Fabulous. All right, folks. Let's see what this does for us. Here's to tulips. Here's to tulips. Here's to tulips. Well, here, and here's to May. Here's to May. Hmm. It's not horrible. It's not bad. I like it. <laughs> We're all surprised. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's it's not as sweet as I thought mm -hmm. it was gonna yeah. be with all that yeah. vermouth. It actually all kind of it, it all together yeah. nicely. That is nice, actually. All right, sounds good. Now we gotta do our tasting. Yes. So we have the shaved broccoli slaw, and then we have the broccoli crowns, both from page one hundred, and then from page one thirty two. We have our version of the lemony veggie um, bruschetta, mm -hmm. which wasn't supposed to have um, half of what's on it. <laughs> <laughs> you were inspired by. We were inspired That's by. how I cooked the recipes for the magazine. <laughs> Something else. There was just yeah, a oh, lot yeah. of green. That was a good call. So we were like, let's try yeah. the blueberries, um, mainly because that's the only fruit we had in the house. Friend, lose a neutral. Blue it, well, right. maybe, maybe that's true. Yeah. So, um, we're supposed to eat from this end because this end is a bucket. Okay. Alright, so, don't, don't, don't look at that. So, I'm going to take this one. Okay. This one? It looks like I'm going to have to do the whole cut. I can just put it all in my mouth at once. Well, I don't know if I can take all that in my mouth. It's very good. Um, for me, the mint is very forward. Is it good? No? I got some mint, yeah. I, I'm not a huge mint fan, oh, okay. so... Like, really. It's good, though. So, we did it with, with um, goat cheese, but you could also do it with marscapone, which would be much sweeter. So you could also do just like instead of doing the half leaves of something, just a little, mm -hmm. a little chiffonade of, of mint, and sprinkle that on if you wanted less. Yeah, I wouldn't. 
you know, I don't do any of the chiffonading in the house, so right. some, someone, <laughs> someone would chiffonade for it. Um, so I've already tried one of the coins. Okay. Um, so this this was uh, this this was the, the the bit about using saving your broccoli right. stems right from the compost bin. And I think um, so these were, these were so we used right? we used the like the broccoli stems anyway. I mean, I don't, like I'm always surprised when people don't eat this part. It's not. Well, I'll let you tell me what you think. It's. I, I think it's a good use of the stems that you might normally throw out of compost. The hummus is very good, Tim. The hummus is good. The hummus is what makes it. So I think that that's, um, that's what saves it, because otherwise yeah. it's kind of just like a broccoli yeah. stem. But I also think if you if you just send out a big tray of these at your next party, here's your broccoli <laughs> coins, people will be like, well, that's neat, and then they... It's not like a big seller on its own. I mean, like if you make you like all together, you mix it into stuff. Right, right. I think that that. Or even use them like, like you can dip it. You could dip. Ah, oh, you know what? That you could dip it. It's they're not bad. They're just. Yeah. I think they don't. There is definitely a little bit more flavor in a broccoli crown than there is in the stem. You know, so. And so then that's the, the shaved one, and there was another. There was a julienne version. But we just did the same. Well, this is pretty, pretty good for sampling my Right. Now we're going to have to do this every month. Um, well, considering I already got the lecture about being a podcast widow, I think that this is, <laughs> this was, this was a way to like insert. Mm. So. No, the more people are involved, the better. Oh, you got, I'm. This I like. Yeah. I like that a little bit better than I love the hummus, but the hummus yeah. is what it is. Yeah. This has got a little more flavor to it. Yeah, see this you could set out a big yeah. bowl of it your right. summer picnic or... it, it's a much more um, developed yeah. recipe. Because you're you're talking about the shaved broccoli, there's nuts in it, there's cheese in it, uh, Parmesan cheese. It's a nice it's bright, the <clears> is <throat> nice. Um, what's really about something like this is a lot of people don't like coleslaw because they don't like cabbage, but this would be a nice mm -hmm. alternative for folks who are like, I hate cabbage. Um, so there we have it. Now we have all this stuff that we can munch on while we're doing our podcast. Okay. Yeah, because that'll work well. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs>